here is a place where I like to do some of my writing. I'm out at North Moreland Park. It's in Apollo, Pennsylvania. And I thought that we could do a fictional writing sprint. Are you ready? I hope you can get a piece of paper, a pen or computer, whatever you have accessible to you. We could do a five minute writing sprint together. I know a lot of times when you are sitting there and you want to write, but you just don't know what you want to write about, or you just, you look around your surroundings and nothing comes to your mind. And that happens. However, on Susie J. Cobwebs, we have this fictional writing sprint. Now, this is for five minutes. I hope you have your pen and paper ready. And we're gonna pick out three things around the, our area. I can help you curb that writer's block that you may have. Now, with the fictional writing sprints, we'll pick three things. Normally I have it in my box, but today I thought I was going to enjoy the sun and enjoy the temperature that we have here in Pennsylvania. So, I decided that I was gonna come out here and have this writing sprint with you. And these are one of those ones that I will recite with you. So I don't care at this point for the spelling, the grammar, the punctuation. This is just to get your thoughts down on paper. You ready? Good. So, Today, although I don't have my box with me to say, okay, well, these are the three things that we're gonna write about. We're gonna write about things that are around us, such as, what do you hear, smell, see around you? This is another way that you can just get involved with wherever you're at and write about it because you never know when that paragraph that you're gonna write may turn into a novel, an essay, or anything that makes you happy. So, at this time, this is a Sunday afternoon, so this park is extremely busy with maybe graduation parties or birthday parties or just because parties, not sure. So I thought we were going to talk about playing horseshoes. That is going to be our number one writing prompt. Playing horseshoes. Do you know what horseshoes are? So basically I am just gonna give you a quick, I don't know if you would know what this is. So playing horseshoes is kind of like basically you're throwing horseshoes from one metal pipe to another metal pipe with horseshoes. That's all it is. But that's a game. So we're going to go with that. So playing horseshoes. What else do I see or hear? Birds chirping. That'll be number two. And number three is going to be a sentence. I thought I would do something a little bit more enticing. Ready? I want you to write this down. What is coming out of the woods. Now, I'm going to explain to you how I do it. I got a piece of paper. I put my three topics that I want to talk about or I want to write about at the top of my paper. Playing horseshoes, birds chirping, what is coming out of the woods. Are you ready? Okay, go.
Okay, put your pencils down, put your paper down. How'd you do? I'm not too worried about the grammar, the punctuation, and the spelling. This is just to get your thoughts down on paper. So if you like these types of writing prompts, be sure to check out my channel. I have new fictional writing prompts that come out the second Wednesday of every month. So I hope you get involved in all of that. So the writing prompt is this. I have playing horseshoes, birds chirping, and what is coming out of the woods? How did you do? If you would like me to read this, by all means, write them in the comments below. And also, if you have a writing prompt that you would like to put into my prompt, make sure you put parentheses on either side of that word number prompt that you would like me to put in so I can put them into my prompt box so we can add more and more fictional writing prompts that we can do together. Here's what I wrote. Regina couldn't imagine what was coming out of the woods. She has never been in this neck of the park before. She wanted to feel safe and enjoy mother nature. Though the Sunday afternoon with birds chirping, she wanted to take a walk around only to find out that there was nothing to be scared about. Noticing others enjoying family time, playing outdoor sports, with many of them playing horseshoes, was a friendly competition. A nice day to enjoy vitamin D and getting some exercise was a good avenue she loved to partake in. If you like these videos, I want you to check out the playlist so we can keep up to speed in all of this writing that you never know what one of these items is going to turn into a novel. So check out some of these videos I have, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And to the next time, love you bunches.